This is a bit controversial. People probably are going to watch this and think, no, I don't, I don't agree with that. But I need to say it anyway because this is my opinion. So this is things you should not do in lucid dreams. This is a little bit different to my video saying five things to never do in a lucid dream. That one kind of went viral, got like a million, no, maybe two million views. This is a little bit different and it's really just, really just one thing, one theme that I want to share in this video. <clears throat> and the thing you should not do is you should not practice or do or experience things in your dream that would be very different from the type of person you want to be in waking life. If you have lucid dreams and you go around like killing people or fighting, <coughs> that is very different, hopefully, to the type of person that you want to be in waking life. And you've got to remember that the dreams are a powerful thing, and especially lucid dreams. It's essentially like a simulation. It's like a virtual reality world where you can decide to do anything, good or bad. But to your brain, and th there's good and bad there's good and bad things about this. But to your brain, there's no difference between what you do in a dream and what you do in waking life. To your brain, it's like it's actually happened. And so, <clears throat> if you are dreaming about like violent things, like uh, you know bad things. To your brain, it's like you've actually done those things and you, you will continue to carry those memories of doing those things. Now, I'm not talking about just like fighting or like recreating a movie scene. That's a little bit different, you know, that's kind of fine. But I'm talking about if you intentionally use a lucid dream to do stuff that you wouldn't be able to do in waking life. That, you know, bad stuff as well. And I, I don't want to say too specific because I want to keep this kind of like safe for YouTube, but you know what I mean. If you if you use the dream to do stuff that you would not do in waking life, be a little bit careful with that. Like, watch yourself with that. Because, like I said, to your brain, it's like it's actually happened. Now, that's the bad side of it. That's the negative side of the fact that, to your brain, it's like it's actually happened. <clears throat> the good side, so a benefit of lucid dreaming and, and using it to your advantage, is that if you want to manifest something, then, or if you want to practice a skill, to your brain it's like it's actually happened. And so you can, I'm just going to stand up a little bit, so you can practice something in a dream and actually get real life results. I used this myself to pass my driving test much faster than I would have done uh, otherwise. And my instructor was wondering like, how did you learn so fast? Well, I was practicing in a lucid dream. Because to my brain, that's real practice, like that's actual my, my, the neurons fired in my brain as if I was actually driving and so you can use it to your advantage but it can also be massively to your detriment if you if you use it to experience and do things that are bad your brain is going to carry those memories and it's going to hold you back it's going you're going to feel bad you might even feel guilt sometimes guilt that you may never be able to recover from and luckily I've already I've always had this sense I've always had this kind of like feeling that yeah it's a dream but it's still feels kind of real like it's still you're still playing around with real stuff here it's still your brain that and it's still your memories that will you will ultimately carry and bring back with you to waking life so it's not like this this fantasy world where anything goes like yeah anything goes you can do anything but that doesn't mean you should do anything right there's there's certain things you should probably avoid and so that's the main theme with this. The one thing you should not do in lucid dream is you should not do stuff that you would feel really guilty about if you did the, if you did it in waking life. So use it to amplify the fun, amazing stuff, the things you're trying to manifest, the awesome uh, adventures, eating amazing foods, flying, superpowers, like that's all great. Use it for that. Amplify stuff like that. But don't use it for stuff like excessive killing excessive violence you know the kind of stuff that you would get in trouble for in waking life or that you shouldn't do or that you would feel bad about doing in waking life that's the sort of stuff that you should really avoid doing in a lucid dream